Like, this is probably some of the easiest money I've ever made playing Star Citizen without any risk at all. Yeah, highly recommend that you give this a try. Welcome Space Pals, it is now time to participate in the Lunar New Year celebrations in Star Citizen. This event started on January 20th and will run all the way through February 6th. Now there's a whole bunch of beefing with the Ninetales going on in Orison, but hey, you can just run around in any of the cities in Star Citizen and look for these little red envelopes. Now ultimately you can easily make 100k an hour doing this. I ended up making quite a bit in my two trips that I did and I only spent about 30 minutes doing it. If you want to treasure hunt like a pro, just make sure that you create a bind point at the hospital because it's going to be much easier to kill yourself back here once we make this first run. If you noticed, I started in the Habs location in Area 18. After that, I like to kind of run out here to the center globe area in the middle of town and then just start picking up all these envelopes all over the place. Just to save you a little bit of time, from my experience, you're not going to find a whole lot of these inside of shops. You won't find any inside of hangars at all, so don't even bother looking. But where you will find them is a lot of where people are just hanging out and chilling by chairs. All right, so this is actually kind of awkward. I saw these two and I couldn't reach them, so I figured, hey, I'll just, you know, jump in here really quick and then grab them. But it, you know, turned out to actually be a complete and total death sentence. Any minute now. Any minute now. Yep. This is that awkward moment when I figure out that I'm basically screwed. Now, well, it's time to come myself back to the hospital. It's all good. We didn't lose anything, really. Back at the Habs, now we're going to run over to Zone 2. Generally, I like to clear out the center by the globe, then run over here because there is a whole bunch of places where people like to hang out and eat food. But first, we're going to yoink this one. Yoink! Seriously, anywhere where there's people just chilling out eating food, you want to look there for sure. Now, it goes without saying, CIG's trying to be a tricky Easter bunny, and they like to hide these on the back end side of these meal carts. So make sure you check all around, especially behind the counter and under any chairs nearby. At this point, I'm getting really close to Astro Andromeda. Now on this run, I only found two in this area, but the run after that, I found about 10. So yeah, definitely worth checking over here. We're about to head off down that corridor over there, but first let's check out this vendor because, you know, there's always going to be a really good chance for them to spawn around here. But Hawks 318 is going to come out and, you know, it's going to totally wipe everybody's progress, so what's the point of doing this? Like, I don't know anybody who couldn't use 100k an hour or extra money just by running around and picking up red envelopes and exploring the town. This is why this method is so good for brand new players that are new to Star Citizen that don't even really know the layouts of these towns. Well, you can just run around all over the Dagon place and find all these red envelopes left and right. And sometimes, you know, you'll find yourself in an awkward situation. Pardon me, sir. All right. We're back at the Habs again. We've ended up clearing out the entire center, all around the backside over by Astro Andromeda, and all of the food vendors. Now, the reason why I like to come back to the Habs is there's like 10 or 12 spawn locations here, and, you know, every single time you come by the Habs, there's going to be a new one to loot. So, yeah, definitely liking the Habs. Hopping off the train, make sure you check all the areas around the chairs, but when you get done, head all the way to the very back where these little tables are because you will find a whole bunch of them just laying around on the tables left and right. Word of advice, young Padawa, don't loot these and put these into any kind of a backpack or anything, or it will break your backpack once you sell it. So definitely just run around in a flight suit and just loot all these things, put them directly into your local inventory. CIG is also running a free promotion, so if you'd like to get yourself three of these little wooden rooster statues, and you know, I didn't want to say wooden rooster, it's something else, you can head to the link down in the description. As we make our way to the main spaceport, there is something else I'd like to mention, as well as to say thank you. Thank you for watching all of my Star Citizen videos. Now, I haven't put out that many, but what is absolutely, totally, and completely mind-boggling to me is I actually got the Aegis Javelin yesterday the very, very end prize to the referral program. That completely and totally freaks me out. Now, thank you very much. I love you guys. The Javelin's actually pretty ridiculous and of course won't be flyable until after Squadron 42 comes out. Whoever knows when the heck that's gonna be, but until then, I'm gonna have three awesome loner ships. First and foremost, I'm gonna get the Hammerhead, which is daggone freaking awesome. I've already pimped her out completely. She is ready to do some box missions for you guys. After that, we have the Vanguard Harbinger, which is a really good ship. I'll probably make some combat videos with my friends. And the last free loaner ship is the MPUV Cargo. Well, I actually have three at this point. 
And I've received quite a few free ships from the referral program, so if you are one of those people that decided to give Star Citizen a try and plugged in my referral code, thank you very much. Now, this isn't just a one-way street. You're not trying to just hook up a whole bunch of influencers with a whole bunch of free things, and they're like, oh man, check out all these free things I have. Like, you do get 5,000 space bones when you put in that referral code. But yeah, if you do the math, you know, you have to spend a minimum of $45 and 2,020 people. Well, that's over $90,000. I can guarantee you that some people didn't just spend $45 and forked out a lot more. So it's probably over $100,000. You're welcome, CIG. So yeah, over here on this side of Area 18 at the spaceport area is absolutely ridiculous for these red notes. You're going to find them everywhere, like everywhere. Just don't waste your time looking in the hangars, because I did, you know, because I have to make sure, and there was nothing there. Did some checking around at the L1 stations, I can confirm that there's nothing really there. You're going to have to go down to a planetary city to find these. You can also find them in red crates, though, if you're out in the world looting. Here we are in a hangar where there isn't anything, and ended up with quite a few. This is how many I got on my very first trip. You need to keep in mind, each one of those is worth 500, so... Fixin' to be rich. Well, after I kill myself back to the hospital, because it's way faster. They sell terminals, like, right there. No matter what city you're in, you want to go to the admin office. This is where they'll be buying those red letters. Now, this is my second trip. I didn't record that, but this is my second trip. I got about the same, maybe a little bit more than I got last time. Ended up with 101 letters in just over 30 minutes, which is ridiculous. Now, some of that time in those two runs, I did waste looking in hangars as well as some of the shops, so don't even bother. Just stick to where a whole bunch of people are hanging out and they're good.